What's happening now in 2023? So there's talk of recession. We've seen Twitter lay off a lot of people. We've seen Facebook lay off a lot of people, or Meta. Apple is frozen hiring. And there's other movements as well in the tech industry. So first thing, does this mean that it's over for coding? coding? No, it's not. It's not even close. This is just part of the normal boom and bust cycle that you see in any industry like development, like coding, which is still in the ascent. It's still growing. Now, because of tools like chat, GPT, and others, the type of development work that you will do are, is going to slowly shift over the next few years. And again, this is nothing new. Yes, GPT represents a big leap forward in the coding space in terms of the technologies and the tool sets that you have. But again, it's just a tool. As I've said in several, I don't know if it's several, but a few other chat GPT related videos, I talk about how to use chat GPT effectively as a coder, you still have to know how to code. You still have to know how to be a developer. And uh, chat GPT still makes mistakes and chat GPT can easily be fooled because as somebody said, uh, chat GPT kind of looks like a parrot with the biggest library available to it. It is a language learning tool that uses probability to assess what is the next probable best word to use. It doesn't think. And I've seen some very obvious mistakes uh, myself where it was confidently state something as being true when it's clearly not true because it has no ability to think. It doesn't think. AI, artificial intelligence, is kind of a, a misnomer. It's giving you the impression that there's, there's intellect behind the processes. No, there's not. It's just a probability assessment algorithm. Now, I'm not to diminish the technology. It's a great technology, but it's not actually thinking logically yet. Who knows when it's going to come around? Who knows? Typically, though, you see these big leaps and then it stagnates, stagnates for a long time. Look at smartphones. If you look at iPhone 1, the first touchscreen phone, things have just gotten incrementally better. The cameras are much better. Uh, the touches, the touchscreens are better. The screens are looking nicer. But they're really, it's pretty much the same experience, right? It's not mind-blowing. We haven't gotten to that point where we have like uh, little glasses that project 3D images. We, you know, they tried to do that with Google Glass to a certain extent, but they're not there yet. It's been, it's been a long time, since 2007. So we may see, uh, I'm, again, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying we're not in the age of AI, but I'm saying that I, I would be surprised if we would see a quick evolution uh, to full-blown intelligence. Right now, there's no intellect in the AI. It's a misnomer. It's, it's, it's more of a marketing term, in my opinion. What we see now, again, is a, uh, an, the execution of an algorithm based on probability, what word you think comes next. So for example, I asked the AI about the sonic frequency range on uh, a product I bought, the Beale Sound, uh, Beale Lab Theater from Bang & Olsen, it's their high-end sound bar, and it came up some BS. They thought I was talking about their lineup of products for home theater because it hadn't been trained on BioSan Theater. So it, couldn't, it didn't really understand that I was asking about a product it didn't understand. If it understood, if it was intellectual, like if you would ask me, hey, what do you think of this product stuff? I've never heard of it, I would say, I, I never heard of the product. But the AI does not, have it does not have the capacity to understand that it has not heard of that product yet. Because it doesn't work that way, it doesn't think. It just assesses probability on which word should come next. And, you know, if there's a lot of information on the, out there that tells that the, the, the world is flat, it will tell you the world is flat, right? Because it just bases things on probability. So the majority of people say the world is flat in the data set that has been presented and, and trained on, it will tell you, yeah, the world is flat with total confidence. It doesn't think. It doesn't think. Of course, some people say <laughs> they believe the world is flat. Some people believe that... Uh, uh, the moon landings were fake, so you know. Anyway, I guess we're kind of like ChatGPT after all.